the biggest sunflower has stopped growing and uh, what's going to happen now is that the, the um, flower bud is going to keep getting bigger and bigger as it opens until it finally reaches maturity and then the bees will pollinate it and then we'll have lots and lots of sunflower seeds which uh, since these are Pike's Peak and they're kind of weird looking seeds. I'm going to leave them for the birds. But I'm guessing that stalk is about 11 feet, which is a little shy of what I wanted. I wanted 15, but good enough. So, uh, yeah, I don't think any of the sunflowers is growing anymore except for this little one that came up on its own. This guy here. I think this is a sunflower from last year, which I think is uh, was a uh, Russian mammoth or an American... No, I can't get my hands on American giant. So, uh, that was a Russian mammoth. And over there is a sunflower the neighbor has that came up on its own. You see how big this, the, uh, the flower head is going to get. Keeps opening, uh, keeps growing as it opens, like I said before. Starts out rather small like this one is now. Whoa, it's hard to get up there. There we go. I'm a little early with this video, but I'm doing it now because there's kids um, living in the house next door and they're in their last days of summer vacation and everything's a big party and I've had to put up with a little electric car running over my lawn, which isn't going over very well, let's put it that way, because there's a liability issue there. It bothers me a lot, so uh, I am saving for a fence, since the landlady over there was supposed to uh, put up a fence four years ago, and all she's done is take down the, the uh, she had a, a fence like this, like that. And she took down the mesh part and left the uh, rotted old fence post about a year ago and hasn't done anything since, so I guess it's up to me to do something about these people. Uh, there is wind today, so um, you may be hearing a lot of wind. I don't know if I'm in wind mode, and it's, it's hard to check that while you're actually filming, so I'll try to stay out of the wind. There are some or orchid peppers, or Mad Hatter peppers, as they're also called. We got several of those now, and uh, we're still growing green peppers, sweet peppers, bell peppers, whatever you want to call them. That one's a pretty good size. Um, I had a couple of one-pound tomatoes, and I have taken them both off the vine. I gave one to a neighbor, not the one with the noisy kids. And the other one I'll make some kind of a salad out of. Uh, it's too big just to sit down and eat it like a, a cherry tomato. So uh, yeah, they are ripening now, which is good. Uh, we still have just the one, let's see here, Mexican sour gherkin. And I don't know if I have the camera on it. It's so small, it's impossible to tell. But it is here. Uh, just one. I guess that's all we're going to get this year. Things still have about a month to grow, but this time of year, in this climate, it's Zone 5B, you can never tell what's going to happen uh, after a certain point, usually around September 1st. Uh, All of a sudden, it could turn cold, or it could stay warm, or... There it is. There's our Mexican sour gherkin. We have one cucumber still out here. So, uh, as I said, next year, those are going to grow on the ground because they aren't... They aren't doing well in that container, for whatever reason. I might just grow flowers in that container because, uh, Nothing has ever done really well in there. I do want to grow Mexican sour gherkins next year, but I might try some, some other way of doing it. Um, more 
of those or orchid peppers there. There's a pumpkin that's almost ready to be, well, it is really ready to be harvested. Here's a huge pumpkin here. That's about a 15 pounder. And that's for me. <laughs> I always save the biggest one for me every year. Uh, we aren't going to get any We aren't going to get any giants this year. Here are the pleated pumpkins. Pleated uh, tomatoes, excuse me. They came up on their own. There we go. Kind of neat looking. And uh, still no flowers out of the kaolette, which is disappointing, but as it cools down, it should start doing better, I think. Don't know much about those, actually. Um, you eat the flowers on them. Uh, you can fry them or put them in a salad. They're supposed to be good for you. <laughs> and the weirdo pumpkin is the last pumpkin that's producing anything. It stopped dropping. What it was doing, it was, it was uh, dropping pollinated pumpkins when they got to about size of a fist and now it's letting them grow um, I noticed the difference with them they're lighter bit considerably lighter in color than the uh, there we go. than the rival pumpkins which are almost black as they grow and then they get darker as they, they get bigger so this one's getting darker we have one over there that now looks almost like a rival it's so dark and that is I'm sorry about the noise I don't know if you can see it I can't see what I'm doing here but that is a weirdo pumpkin came up on its own There we go. And that started out very, very light in color, and now it's getting darker, and it's also getting very large. So maybe I won't be so disappointed in those weirdo pumpkins after all. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Here we go. We've got a couple of... Ooh, I'm going to have to do something about that. We've got a couple of these uh, sweet dumpling squashes. And this has got bugs all over it, so I'm going to have to spray it. There we go. So we're going to get some of those, if the bugs will allow it. And... The last thing I'm going to do today is show you our harvest thus far. I take out a weed here. Alright. You will notice I have fixed the hinges on the door. WD-40 does wonders. Um, yeah, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. No, that's all right. Yeah. Seven pumpkins, actually eight, because I already gave one away. These are all rival. So, uh, and one of them's a good size, but it's laying on its side. This guy here, maybe 10, 12 pounds. Maybe, maybe more, though. These are heavy pumpkins, so. That's what we got so far, and we've got maybe four more out there, four more rivals, two or three weirdo pumpkins. So uh, that's about 13 pumpkins altogether. Not bad for a little patch like I have, but not as good as I've gotten in the past. So um, if it would rain, it would be <laughs> it would help a whole lot. Um, we had a storm miss us by about a mile last night, which was frustrating. Um, it's supposed to rain more le next week, but they keep saying that, and it keeps not happening. So, uh, yeah, still about a month to go, but I think we're winding down to the end here. So, uh, that's what we have so far. 
I'll see you next time.